This video will introduce you to the OMM technique known as pectoral traction. The purpose of pectoral traction is to increase the AP diameter or the anterior posterior diameter of the chest and to increase the venous and lymphatic return of the head and neck. To carry out this technique, we'll first have the patient put their knees up on the bed. This is a part of this technique you'll most often lose a point four because people get so caught up with what's going on with the upper body that they forget about the knees being up on the bed. It helps with the movement and stability of the patient. Next, will the patient act like they're praying or put their hands up in front of them? We'll then take our hands and put them into the axillary region or armpit, for lack of a better term, of the patient and tell the patient how to relax their arms over their belly button. Now what I'm gonna do is have the patient take a deep breath in and I'll just pull back and let the weight of my body Pull the patient's upper body up, giving the body a stretch. The patient can then release their air and exhale, but I will hold the patient's upper body up, maintain this stretch even though they don't have air inside their lungs. Let's go ahead and breathe out. And then we'll do this cycle for a few times. So there's another deep breath in. I'm pulling traction, stretching the upper body. Patient exhales, and I am still maintaining traction, not letting the upper body come back down. This is increasing the anterior posterior diameter, also known as the AP diameter, and increasing venous and lymphatic return from the head, neck, and shoulders. You'll do this for about 20 or 30 seconds until you feel a really good stretch in the upper body of the patient. And that is pectoral traction. 